So last Saturday, uh, almost a Sunday morning after the brawl on the stage at the VGMA, the 20th anniversary of same, uh, Concept Warai spoke with some of the patrons about what they had seen and what they had experienced and the exact thoughts are on your screen right now. come to an abrupt end over one particular category the reggae dance hall artist of the year stoneboy was announced winner of this very category and we saw satawale also walk up stage i don't know what he was going to do there but it was confusing and because of that the event is on hold right now <laughs> So that was what happened at the VGM. It's very embarrassing for, for the fact that it was showing across the world on 49 different television stations. And the BBC has been covering it and uh, commenting on the negative thing that happened there. The sponsors, I'm sure they're uh, biting their nails. The Charterhouse as well. But most importantly, there were 5,000 people in the auditorium at the time. Uh, security concerns coming up shortly. But I'm sure you also are aware at this point that Stoneboy, the Bennington Music Group, uh, his management have issued a statement signed by him, says uh, un unreserved apology for unfortunate VGM incidents. I'd like to extend my sincerest apologies and deepest regrets for the part, uh, for, my, for the part my conduct played at what should have been the biggest celebration of Ghana music last night. I'm seeking uh, to entertain Ghanaians. I have been a victim of incessant vilification and fiscal attacks in recent time. My own dear wife has in the past suffered a knife attack at a concert, an attack that has been meant to uh, for me and which resulted in her being uh, rushed to a hospital. This for me has been a quite alarming uh, with regards to security. Such unfortunate incidents have a clearly have clearly had an impact on the se sense of alertness of my entire team and I. And uh, violence can easily result in trauma, especially violence against those closest to us. Stone Boy is very respectful and well-mannered musician, highly spoken of among his equals and masses, but locally, but locally and internationally, due to the high level of respect I show to all and the high levels of comp 
uh, comportment coupled with hard work. I've been going through difficult times despite the gains my team and I have made musically in raising high the flag of Ghana and also at the 20th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. I however accept that no matter the provocation, there must be an attempt to remain calm. I'm taking remedial measures to ensure that there will never be a repetition of such actions. These include improving the security measures within my team. There are these immediate actions are to ensure that such acts do not recur, not in any way, uh, nor in any way affect my uh, person or profession. It is my ardent hope that the show will be remembered uh, for the showcase and appreciation of talent and not a few minutes of regretful haywire. I will continue working with Charterhouse and hope this won't in any way affect my relationship with them. To Vodafone Ghana, my sincerest apology to you for bringing your brand to a low moment like this. As artists, uh, we appreciate what you invest and continue to invest in our talents. We hope you will co continue to support Ghanaian music. To all Ghanaians, uh, let's come together in unity and rise above fueling needless rivalries. I urge all fans to keep calm and desist from all forms of violence. The stone boy, you know, uh, always comes in peace, and I will always advocate for peace. Livingston, uh, Satekla, CEO of Bennington Music Group, he signed that. But on the back of that as well, Charterhouses issued a statement uh, apologizing to everybody else. It says, um, the management of Charterhouse, uh, as headlined uh, is uh, uh, titled uh, Charterhouse Condemns Unruly Behavior at the 2019 Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. It says the management of Charterhouse production wishes to apologize unreservedly on behalf of and on behalf of the board of the uh, 2019 VGMA to patrons and millions of viewers uh, on television and social media in Ghana and all over the world for security breach that marred the event in the wee hours of Sunday, May 19, 2019 at the premises of the Accra International Conference Center. They have apologized to their media uh, team. They have apologized to the Honorable Minister for uh, Tourism and uh, Arts and Culture, the Honorable Minister for Information, uh, uh, Foreign Affairs, the Honorable George and the Deputy for Communication and all those international people who were there to support them. I've also apologized to Mobo, to Kanye uh, King, to Sony Music, to The Orchard, uh, Philip, uh, Phil Phillips, Alison, our friends from Barbados, and Vodafone as well. They're saying that subsequently they will tighten security and ensure that such unfortunate things do not happen again. Okay, so there you have it. Samini, after that brawl, was brought on and he had to uh, bring the crowd back on. But I've been joined this morning by Papa Kofi Abronoma. Uh, he is the host of Onya FM's Drive, uh, Bisebi. And uh, also, uh, Steve, he works with Addison Productions Limited. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. And later, I'm sure we can get onto the phone line and uh, speak with a lawyer and ask uh, two quick questions. What charges... Uh, will Shatawale or uh, and Stoneboy possibly, uh, what charges could they possibly be facing uh, at this point? We understand that they are in police custody and will this have any dire consequences legally of their careers? But Papa Kofi, I'll start with you. You were there yeah. uh, closer to to the, the haywire as it happened. Mm -hmm. I was there as well, but I was backstage yeah. and I saw from a distance what happened. Yeah. But what did you see? I think when Shatter came in, um, he'd gotten two awards already, and he wasn't in. And then he mm. entered, so he took the shine. And there was a performance when right. he was entering. Mm. Then, you know, no, they normally sit at the front, but he didn't sit at the front mm. where he went to sit. Exactly. He wasn't supposed to be where he had to sit. And, and that was because he came late, so his seat yeah, wasn't available at the time. Yeah. And for me, my problem is when Stoneboy was announced, as the winner, when Abiku came, even there was a production mishap with the right. when Chairman General called uh, Abiku to, uh, mm. to come, that wasn't the general he was supposed to announce. And then when Abiku came and did the correction, and the moment you mentioned Stone Boy, he went up with his people to the stage, mm. and then he was making the sign. I've collected it five times, five okay. times. And then somebody whispered in his ears. Okay. I didn't whispered into whose ears? Stone boy's okay. ear. I don't know what he said. Mm. And then we saw Shatta getting up with all his people, and people were clearing the way, and they were getting on the onto the stage. That was they were my clearing problem. the way as in pushing people. He was coming. Yes. Okay. When he was going out, I was standing there. They pushed me aside. When he was leaving right. the stage, okay, outside, they pushed me aside and went there. But w my problem is from where he was sitting when he walked all the way to the stage mm. that was my issue that was your your issue with it steve 
the commentary following this unfortunate incident has been uh, very varied, if you ask me. I don't know what you think as an industry player, but did we need this at this time when the world was watching? Um, okay, first of all, I think um, it's very disgraceful for the world to be watching Ghana as a country with one of the biggest events we have so far go like that. But then I don't also want to apportion blame, but I think Chatterhouse should have known better because they invested a lot into this event. I mean, being an event organizer myself, I know what goes into event organization. Yeah. And when I got to the grounds, everything was spot on, including okay. security, including setup. Everything was fantastic. So, so what should they have known better? Okay, what they should have known was that I think security, everybody is talking about bad security. Mm. I think security was tight, but the security, the security weren't trained enough for such incidents. How, how do you make that conclusion? Okay, so there is a security on stage. There is a security in front of the stage to block people that are not supposed to get on mm. the stage. Now, if you, if you watched clearly, when Stoneboy was getting onto the stage after him being mentioned reggae dance or artist of the year, the security made sure that him and his people that were supposed to be on the stage were the only people that were allowed in right. there, which means that security was spot on. But when it got to Shatterstand and then he was climbing up the stage, the security was still there. Mm. But because of the force they were coming in, the security started pulling back. Right. I mean, they were supposed to have some kind of a barrier formation to, to, to curb such incidences mm. in order not to allow people that are coming in with such force, right. especially in a group like mm. that. And you know, I mean, SM fans, when they are coming, they are not going to come in a, in a doorway. They are mm. going to hit hard. Let's look at international best practice. Pa. Yeah. What is it? How, how does it happen elsewhere? If you are called up stage for, to receive an award, yeah. what happens elsewhere? You go, you go on stage, and probably, me, yeah, I was thinking probably go with your manager or about two or three people. But for Ghana, I think it's been a culture that's been with that, even with parliamentary vetting. Right. When they are going, they want to go with the chiefs of the whole area, probably about five or six from the constituency. Okay. If you are going to collect an award, do you need all those people around? And I think there are rules, and I don't know no, whether you have rule, it on the yeah, phone. Yeah, that, and you, know. you, you should have it. Right. And it's stated there. This number of people should be on stage. With right. you. They shouldn't go beyond. And the stage is there. You allow all of them to be on stage. That's my problem. It's not done elsewhere. So, so uh, what I what I picked is that uh, in in other jurisdictions, you will find that it's it's a production gap. Yes. That's what happened. Yeah. Because the speeches are rehearsed. Yeah. They are put on a prompter. Uh, and if you want to go limits. up on stage yeah. and everything, it's, yeah. it's well noted. Well but then we have heard also that uh, many are saying that Shatawale said he was going up there to congratulate uh, <laughs> Stone Boy. How do we I marry mean, the two? I mean, that is extremely where I have the problem with. Okay, so Johnny, imagine when Stone Boy was on stage, Shata stood up, started applauding, and walking up to the stage. Okay. Wouldn't he have created that impression in people's minds? Okay. And Stoneboy himself in his mind that, oh, mm. Shatter is applauding to me. Mm. So it means he's up here to congratulate me. But then you walk up to the stage with an angry facial expression. Okay. What do you expect? This guy is not your friend. Mm. So if you're walking up like that with a highly contested, I mean, category like that between the two. Right. Meanwhile, there's a feud between the two. Okay. And you're walking up the stage. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to justify that what Stoneboy did in mm. return. But I see him as a married man first. Okay. A father of two kids. So in any instance, he's supposed to protect himself in order to keep his family safe. Without recourse to whatever image he creates exactly. afterwards. Ex he shouldn't care but about Your the family image. comes first. Every man knows that. As how, soon as how, you, how do you feed your family if you have no job? I mean, definitely there is a plan, there is a life plan, but then you, 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 you need to protect yourself and mm. protect your family too as well. Because I don't think him, him getting up from home to mm. the event grounds telling the wife oh i'm just going to see if i will receive some awards and come back home and then the next thing is he was gunned down he was being mobbed or anything happens mm. of that sort i mean it would be a big blow to the family but i said this four years ago that we're sitting on a time bomb how how big has the bomb become now because uh, when it started i mentioned that look 
this is dangerous. This is not Ghanaian. And I was told by somebody, a supposed big wig in the industry, that, oh, it's part of the dance or culture. It's, <laughs> the beef is good for the industry. <laughs> How big has this bomb become? You see, it, it, it depicts what we've mm -hmm. done as a nation, as a country, what we've lost. You mentioned culture. I'm so excited. Since when did we start to infuse hip hop into our culture? Since when did you start to bring dancehall into your music genre? What we know is highlight. For me, even this time around, if you give the highest high life award, the song, to a dancehall king, what are you to try? What are you trying to tell the other people? Okay. It's very easy for those engaged in dancehall and other to be carrying guns. I mean, that's their culture. Go to Jamaica, go to the U.S., the hip hop industry. Guns is no problem. You know, just was it early this year mm. when they started this radio thing about uh, Pete with and then it got to a point in time we had to mention um, LK right. and then Obrafo, mm. Lord Kenya and Obrafo. Where did they lead to? So Shata Wale manages to have a fight with almost everybody. The fight was between Shata, the feud was between Shata and Samini, mm. and then Samini takes Stone Boy. As a boy, I'm grooming okay. you. He signs on to the high grade family. Mm. The guy comes up, and now that attention shifts to uh, Stone, Stone Boy, Boy. Because and, and, that's, and that's where we are. Let's, talk about, we let, are. let's talk about the people who, who are in there. You say security was tight. Yeah, I, I disagree. Uh, yeah, even largely from the entrance, because okay. I wasn't scanned not even once. Even from yeah. the entrance, I wasn't scanned yeah. not even oh, once. You were in scan. Yes, I was. That, that's the problem. I mean, so, so now, stand? so now, let's talk about five thousand people yeah. in there. Yeah. Pepper spray, blows, guns, shocker. What do you say? Closely, we're, cl we're closing now. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, we're ending. The, the policeman wasn't chained well. The one who fired the warning shot, okay. he created the confusion. The pandemonium. Yes. You think so? Yes. Okay. Because if you look at them, when CD was trying to stop them, and then the people started coming in, the security detail around, instead of creating the barrier, they were going back, right? They were going on the left side, and then the man takes a gun and fires a warning shot. And that created the melee. Okay. Finally for you. Uh, we're wrapping up. We're, okay, I'm told so our time is up. Yeah, uh, okay. My final words. I think uh, we play too much. We take a lot of things for granted. Uh, we don't pay attention to details. We feel we do things over and over, so we should be able to get it as easy as we've been doing okay. it. I think our security personnel needs proper training. Okay. I mean, I would lament on this any day, any time. Security is not, it's not about muscles. No, it's not uh, about muscles. Big body it, is it, about it's about brain work. Common it's, sense and intelligence. Thank you very much. Papa Kofi Abraunama is the host of uh, BCB on uh, New FM. You can listen to him every day at 4 p.m., uh, we are 95.1 FM and Steve works with Adesa Productions Limited. If you're looking to produce some very great documentaries and commercials and all of that, look for them. My name is Johnny Hughes and that's where the cookie crumbles today. And uh, uh, we'll look at the VGMA issues sometime later, some more with a, a lawyer. But as I always say, it's Monday. Know that if you can think it and your heart can believe it, only you can achieve it.